Greetings, my friends! My name is Nick, and this is Logical Cog's Let's Play series. Today, we'll be trying out Scrap Garden, another fun little free game I found on Game Jolt. So, don't really know much about the game. It sound, just from what I read, I get to play as a little robot guy over here as I adventure through this world collecting emeralds! Sorry, I, I just saw the emeralds just now. <laughs> so anyways, let's give this a go and see what it's all about. This amazing story happened to one old and small oh, robot. Awesome, old. Number C4N, whom other robots called... Renovate Just right now. Fast and free robot the renovation. Robot had a strict policy about the renovation of outdated robots. Aww. And the cold nuclear fusion generator that was powering C4N had long been considered environmentally hostile. Oh, Ken well, that's not good. Put to sleep and woken up later with a new polished and shining body. Woo! That did look safe. That was his eyes body. And saw a very strange dream. Everything around him came to a halt and started to get covered with rust and moss. Uh oh. He wanted to run away, but couldn't move. <laughs> he wanted to scream, but he barely had enough energy to squeak. Ooh. Eventually. He woke up. Well, good for me then. Into the city of robots. Why did all the robots stop moving? Did anyone survive? I will blame a strike. The little rusty can. Cogs and gears. To Must resist cog joke. And try to fix it all. All right. So yeah, from the story so far, I was deactivated. My head's popped open. Oh, it's a solar panel. Okay. At least I think it's a solar panel. It has to be a solar panel. Wow, there, there is just something missing in me, isn't there? Alright, so I can walk around with my head popped off. What else can I do? Oh, no. So, yeah, everything just stopped all of a sudden. It just seems like it could be an EMP pulse, but then I wouldn't be alive. I would be fried as well. So, something just turned off. So, somebody just hit, like, a big off switch. And I'm not sure why I caused that. So yeah, we're just gonna go around and collect stuff. Back to the menu. Okay, so, and for some reason there's gems everywhere. Not sure why, but I guess I'll just steal them. Who knows? Warning, stay- Oh, 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 I see. Excuse me, I'm just gonna just take that for a second. Okay, cool. Press A to jump. Okay, so I got my main battery back, it looks like. So maybe my main battery lets me do a lot of different things right away. And when it runs dry, I have to probably then uh, go back in the sunlight and recharge it. That's actually pretty nifty. Come on, that reminds me back of the days of Bokutai when your solar gun... Had it be charged with the actual solar sensor on the Game Boy game itself. While that was a pretty fun idea to make the, the game interactive with the world, it also got pretty stressful at times, especially if you lived in an area that had constant cloud coverage, or you're just the only time you could play was at night where you didn't have the sunlight. Now, if you're like me and my friends, we cheated a little bit and used lights that actually produced. You know the same light frequency as so as the sun does so we would just put our game boys under that and charge our games that way it was cheap but it worked all right oh hello there who are you well you're just deactivated as well can i steal your giant battery please find another battery to open the door oh, i have to find a battery to open the door okay so where do i find another battery Ooh, I can run through trees. How fun. Can I kick barrels? Yes, I can. Man, a lot of things are just interactive in this world. Can't push that. I am too weak. Also, I want to check one thing really fast. Let's see. Alright, I'm back. I just had to check something really fast, so let me just grab my crystals and battery again really quick. Alright, now that we got that back, let's continue on. 
So we gotta find that secondary battery, wherever it may be. Excuse me, you piece of junk. Sorry that you're dead and all, but I need to find a battery. Now, can I interact with anything else? Not sure if my buttons do any other, anything else. That's the thing. Maybe there's a battery in the scrap pile here. Nope. There's some gems over there, but not the battery. I see an open trash can. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, invisible wall. Let's see, where could I find another battery? Hmm. Okay, it's, it has to match that one. It's pretty big. Let's see. Yeah, um, okay, there's some batteries in here, maybe? No, I can't grab those. Where am I supposed to find a battery? I just want a big round cylinder. Is that so much to ask for? Ah, oh, where are you? Mm. Ah, yeah. We don't know where it, it is. Where it is battery? I m must find battery. Battery not in box. Battery not in dangerous chemical vat. I'm about to punch this game. Or maybe I've just been stupid. Maybe this is the battery right here. God freaking damn it. Okay, I was just stupid. Can I pick it up? Or do I... There we go. I just got to bump into it. Okay, whatever. Anyways, after running around like a complete robotic... No. Idiotic robot. There we go. I can finally move on. Loading. All right. Oh, look at this wonderful city. Look how pretty it is. I like the nice kind of a golden hour light that's going on here. Got some robot guards over there. Probably deactivated. Some jams. Ah, oh, so it looks so nice. It's actually a pleasant place to live. Like, yeah, it's built up and everything, but... Well, to be fair, this is also all overgrown. It's been a long time. But still, these robots know how to keep a city nice, nice looking and stuff. So it does make me kind of wonder. If robots wouldn't just be better as the rulers of the world, or, and we would, humans should just all disappear. Okay, hey buddy. I'm gonna touch you. Oh god! I poked this groin! And it blew up! Oh! Oh man. It's a terrible fate for anyone. I would not want to be blown up through a, my groin being touched. That sounds just terrible. Just so terrible. Okay, so I knocked you over. Can I do anything with your corpse? <gasps> I'm sorry, buddy. I I don't know. How about you? Oh, God. I destroyed his corpse, too. Okay, maybe I can push you up? Maybe I can just push you up? And I, I feel like I need to use something to get up there, and your corpse is the only thing I know how. Maybe, oh, oh, maybe I'm supposed to stack you on your buddy. Ha make you guys have gay robot sex. Maybe that's the key. Oh, I don't want to say, it, it could not even be gay. It could be a boy robot, a girl cut robot. I don't know. I'm just saying stupid things. Okay, come on, get over there. I know this is very terrible. I mean, I'm just pushing corpses onto each other. To achieve the goal of going higher. Well, I did that. I still can't go any higher, though. I don't think... Wait, I can double jump? Where did that happen? Okay. I'm assuming there's going to be an invisible wall like, over this way, so we'll just jump down. Alright. So yeah, we can continue our journey through this desolate city of robots that just appears to be abandoned for no apparent reason. Like, there's no explanation why everyone stopped moving. And why there are gems just littered everywhere. Boink. 
All right, so I guess I'm supposed to come up here eventually, but I want my gems first. And to destroy my robot brethren where they stand. Well, you're much more sturdier, Mr. Boxman. Look at you, so nice and sturdy. Aw, oh, you can... It's almost like you can come back to life any second now. Okay, I guess I can't destroy those. Okay. They're just there for the sake of benefit if I was stupid and broke all the boxes in my mad, mad quest to get more gems. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, we'll do it again. We'll pop back up. Damn it. Wait a minute. How many times can I jump? Alright, can I come over here? Man, this music. No! I wanted to get those gems too! I know there's a way to get up there! I am determined. Maybe I have to come up to this soon. Okay. There we go. I was just being stupid. And not doing the obvious kind of jumping. Alright. Okay, I believe that's all the gems up here. Oh god, rats! They don't look friendly! Look at those demon demonic eyes! Okay. The solution to killing rats is the Mario solution. Stomp on them with my heavy ass butt. Because I'm a robot and I must weigh a lot of pounds. Scrap garden. Play. Exit. Oh, I get it. It's a game. It's a game within the game. Alright, looks like we have a little elevator over there. Let's give it a try. Maybe it'll work. Hey, the elevator still works. And now, I'm in the city itself. Or the city proper is the phrase? I don't know. Well, that's broken now. Find the city hall. Well, first I gotta stop on more rats, cause, well, they're rats. All right, so now we're in the main, just the city. Oh, that looks so good. I love this. I love that kind of photography blurry effect going on as it zooms out. And it's done so nicely, too. That's a kind of like a field, you know, vi vi view distance in video games. That's the kind of thing they should do more often of. Instead of just going into complete fog, do that kind of, do a nice blur effect. That way it does look like it's farther away and the game looks like it's focusing on you more. Also, I do like how it plays true to the actual human eye where things in your peripheral vision are actually more focused than what's directly in front of you. Basically, you can see things f further away in detail it, th through your peripheral vision than you can looking straight at it. It's really weird, but if you want to test this out, go out on a very clear starry night Try to look up at, for certain constellations. You can actually see the nebulous blobs of cloud, cl no star clusters, in the sky in your peripheral vision that you could not see when you looked directly at them. It's really bizarre and fun to do. All right, popcorn. Why would robots eat popcorn? Clearly, that's not for humans because this robot is clearly intending to buy some. Unless it's kind of like that Futurama thing where they can gain energy from various substances like alcohol. So maybe. But anyways. <laughs> I win! Not sure what I accomplished, other than being a jerk. All right, so that's north. Well, let's go down this street first. All right, looks like the symbol of the city is the great and powerful power button, which I agree with. That seems quite appropriate. Oh, oh, do I be a jerk? Do I truly be a jerk and do the naughty? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, you fail! Oh, sucks for you. God, I'm a jerk. Oh, it looks like you can get little screwdrivers in case those rats... Really out-challenged you. 
which I would imagine would be quite difficult for them to do. They seem quite easy to defeat, at least right now. Maybe I just haven't run into like the giant mutant rats who are try who will devour me whole. Or falling damage can be a thing. Okay. Note to self. Falling hurts. Well, let's see if this... There we go. Now I have use for the screwdriver. Alright, so I am more likely to kill myself through falling, it seems like. Alright. And hey again, buddy. You had a nice fall. Cop! You didn't see anything! And I will make sure you never see anything ever again. Get more of these jams. Squash the bug. Not the bug. Alright, so I'm guessing that's City Hall over there. Man, you are justice. You are you just have that face of concern. Just look at you. Just eyebrows. Just staring out. Why would a statue need eyebrows? Okay, you're falling down as well. Everyone's just dead on the ground. Ow! Damn it! Never mind! Apparently, I am the worst kind of player. There we go. But damn, I need, I need a screwdriver now. I'm sparking here! Okay. No ice cream for you! Hey, buddy, do you need a friend? Here, I'll sit next to you. Come on. Come on, game! Ah! Uh. Okay, I guess I'm not sitting next to you. Because you're a jerk. You don't want friends, apparently. And now I'm going to take my pay business elsewhere, Mr. Ice Cream Man. <gasps> Pizza! Not for you! Aw, oh, but I lost a pizza. Aw. Really wanted that pizza. And again, why do robots eat all this food? And why am I just murdering every cop? I'm just murdering everyone, apparently. Maybe it's a good reason. Maybe there was a reason why they were deactivating me. Maybe in life, I was a crazy serial killing robot. And yeah. I just murdered thousands. Yeah! Woo! Basket. But I was just saying, I murdered thousands in my mad rampage. And deactivating me was actually saving the rest of the city. Bam. Stop reading that paper. Okay, you're you're very determined to read that paper. I'll I'll let you have it. All right, so I'm at 75 gems right now. Still don't know what the gems are for or what they do, but that's okay. Oh, we'll, well, let's keep collecting them. Maybe they'll come useful later. And if they do, more is probably better. Why? Because I said so. And I'm just gonna go without logic forever. Let me grab that. Screw your bicycle, buddy. Also, no ice cream for you. Or drinks, or coffee, whatever it was. Speaking of coffee, I want some coffee right now. Ah, coffee achieved. Okay, I think this is the last section I have yet to explore. For those sweet, sweet gems. Yes, gems are plenty. Okay. Hello, Mr. Gobchkins, I believe... I'm done with... Ooh, that's right. I almost forgot about falling. Okay, got that. Murdered last cop robot. And I believe that's all the gems I can find. I don't know. I'm done looking. Let's move on to City Hall. See what's going on here. In my mad rampage. Wait! You are still standing! There you go. No cucumbers allowed! That's unfair to all single people! And robots. A single robot, people. Hey, hey. No one stays sturdy on my watch. Ah, rat! Apparently there was more crystals. How did I miss this entire section? I thought I came over here first. Maybe I cut over in the middle. Who knows? Yeah, I think I cut... Oh, that's right. Probably I went to the middle and I cut over here. This camera's a little bit jarring as I've been playing through. Like, it moves around... A like, it's hard to control, because you're... As you move, the camera follows you. Oh, that's what they're for. I have to use gems to power up stuff. Except it took more gems than I had. That fucking thieving piece of metallic scrap. Oh! 
Wh why did this become a horror game? This is creepy. I'm not okay with this. Ah, spider! Oh, thanks! It's, it's raining outside now. Okay, there's a tree in here. Actually, no, actually, you know what this reminds me of? This feels very Luigi Ma Luigi's Mansion-esque. Just the way it's kind of going sideways as we travel through, the, like we did in the mansion. Oh, but... That's, oh, much better. Yeah, this is... Yeah, but no, this actually does remind me a lot of Luigi's Mansion. The way you're kind of going through these rooms like this here. That's pretty cool. Okay, so it's not as creepy as I originally thought. But still, that initial sequence of uh, walking inside and the game was like, horrifying sound, horrifying sound. That was not expected. So bravo on you for surprising me, game. Bravo. Man, this music has just gotten sadder now. Like... This is truly a tragedy. Like it's now you can now real, really feel the uh, the you know level of tragedy that's going on here. All right. No, I fell down. I want to see what's going on with that robot there. Hello, spider. Hey there, buddy. And you're squashed. God damn, this music is so great, actually. It's beautiful for what's going on right now. I mean, it's... <laughs> and apparently I know how to play the piano. Good for me. Stop being dead, buddy. Why are you being so dead? I'm gonna go in the shower here. Okay, so there's a staircase area over here. Oop, it's loading. Oh, I see what it is. Can I go? Can I go back down? Oh, I want to explore more. Oh well. Ah oh, well. So much for that. Anyways, let's go up this weird stone tower that's just in the middle of the build. This building here. Okay. Do 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 do. Well, this tower apparently got. This here, this tower just feels so out of place from the rest of the city here. Everything is so modern and built up, and this just is like a tower from medieval times, just sticking out of the Capitol building. That's bizarre. Anyways, let's keep going up this tower. Do 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 do. But could the answers lie up here, mate? <gasps> You're moving. You're alive. Johnny, is that you? Yes, it's me. Oh, Mikey. Here we are, and I thought I would never see a living robot again. But how is it that you are still working? Bullshit, mostly. Science? Why, of course. You must be the only remaining robot with such remarkable archaic modules. No. <laughs> well, 54 years have passed since that dark day, but I remember it as if it were yesterday. Hmm. Everyone was going about their business when the great black wings appeared in the sky. So the answer is dragon. fucking dragons. Yes. Okay. Yes, a real dragon. It was a vicious and relentless beast. A store Emeru. The tower clasped its claws around the crystal and crushed it. The crystal's enormous energy was released in a Wait. flash, and all life in our city. Could this stopped. be the master and I, crystal? I the one to and I, uh, yes, Kenny, and totally not Knuckles. Have to go get the rest of the emerald shards? Oh god, it's Sonic Adventure 2 all over again. No! Or, oh, yes, I don't know. Until now, I thought that I survived only as a punishment for my guilt. Alright. I see that together we have a chance to make everything right. After the crystal had been destroyed, four or five beams from the power sources are indeed broken. But the last, to the north, miraculously remains undamaged. Hmm. If you could manage to start the standby generator in the basement, perhaps I could activate the teleport to the northern lands. Ooh. Take my stick. It is the key T to the basement. Take my... Okay, so a stick is the key. Well then. That's actually 
Start start the standby generator. Okay. Ah, oh, so that's a secret sewer grate. I see. Cool. Squeaky. And more horrifying sounds. Well then, this demo is definitely going on, on a lot longer than a demo or short game. I don't know. It's going on a lot longer than I actually expected it to, do, to go. So we'll continue this next time as we try to save all robot kind in the next episode of what's the game called again? God damn it! That's how bad I am with this stuff. Anyways, uh. Yeah, next time, we'll continue this game and save the world. So, I'll see you guys again when the gears start turning. No robot pun intended. See ya.